Hey there, we are going to explore two of very important things while solving equations in MATLAB. And this can be very useful when you are dealing with varieties of equations in MATLAB or even while you are solving mathematical equations for your research purposes. So now let's dive into it. Here first we'll start with SYMS command. Basically it is the shortcut for constructing symbolic variables. This will be very useful when you are dealing with solving symbolic equations. Let me show you the difference between normal equation and symbolic representation. For example, here I am writing this normal equation. And when I run this, it shows undefined function or variable b because it's obvious that we have not defined any variable so it will clearly show us an error. But when you use the syntax, and mention all these variables b and c and then again write this equation and then press enter now here also we are not defining b and c but what it does it takes this b and c as a symbolic variable you can see here the type of variable it's sym that means it's a symbolic variable symbolic representation of a variable now let us take an example to better understand it So here first I am clearing all the workspace variable, then I am clearing the command window and then I am defining SYMS B and C as symbolic variable and this is my expression and now if I want to solve this expression I need to use the command solve, solve into bracket which equation I want to solve, the equation is A right. So now when I run this thing it shows a is equal to this and now we are solving the a a is equal to minus 5 into b raised to 2 so what it does it solves this equation symbolically so here I have two variables b and c so when I solve this equation it will solve the equation for the higher alphabetical number the higher number is c so it will solve the equation for c and that is why we are getting answer as minus 5 into b raised to 2 Instead of these two variable, let us add one more variable that is d and we will write 5 into d and now let us run it. So here our solution is minus b raised to 2 minus c by 5. So this is a symbolic solution and it is solving for d right. But now let us say you have some specific requirement that instead of d. I want to solve this equation for C. So what you are supposed to do, you need to write solve A comma, you need to define the variable for what you want to solve the expression. Here in our case, we want to solve it as C. So we will mention C and then we will run. So now here you can see the expression is solved for C. The same way you can do with b instead of c we want to go for b and there we go here we have the expression for b. You can even solve the multiple equations in line. Let me show you what I mean to say. Here I am defining three variables a, u and v. Here su is my first variable, sv is my second variable is equal to solve and into the bracket this is my first equation comma this one is my second equation so here i am defining two equations and now let's run this section so we have the solution s u and s v you might be wondering that what i did i have just run this particular section this is a different section and this one is also a different section how to create this section using these two plus sign but what are the advantages and uh, use of the sections for that I have a separate video you can watch that video to learn a very handy use of the sections how you can use the sections and what is the importance of using sections and the shortcut key to run only particular section is control enter so it's very simple left hand side is our variable then equal to solve into the bracket our equation number one then comma and equation number two 
if you want to add more equations then add comma and then upcoming successive equations but the same way you need to provide the successive variables also now what if instead of this a i have multiple values of a and i want to place that multiple values of a in this equation and then go for the varieties of solution so what we'll do we'll remove a from here we'll add the value of a changes from 1 to 10 in the step of 10 and then end let's run so here we have 10 different values of sv and s u but all these answers are symbolic representation of answer if you want a real number in answer then you need to write and now run the same thing but this time what i want i don't want to clear it all why i'll show you why i'm doing this thing so now let's run So here it is the symbolic representation of the answer this is one of the way to represent the answer but when you convert this symbolic representation to number we will get this numeric solution. So to convert the answer in numeric solution you need to add this double. So I think this much is clear. Now it's turn for the second interesting thing and that is subs S U B S this will do the symbolic substitution in equation the syntax of subs is like this subs into the bracket s old new bracket over s is the equation or expression then this is your old variable and you want to replace old variable with the new variable so here you need to place your new variable so using this subs command you can substitute your older variable with new variable more complex with more additional information or with some numbers so this is what you can do with subs so now let's take an example of this for better understanding so what we'll do we'll use the same command here clear all clc sims b c and d and now we'll go for subs so we want to substitute so first you need to define the expression so we are defining that we want to substitute anything in expression a now the older variable for example uh, instead of this b i want to use d right so my older variable is b and the variable that i want to place instead of b is d now bracket over and let's run so this is my solution 5d square plus 5d plus c but now you wish that instead of only b i want to replace b and c both with some new variable so for that curly bracket uh, you need to define older variables b and c these are the two older variables that you need to change then again comma and now in curly bracket you provide your updated variable for example instead of b i want to replace 3d right so what i'll write 3 into d so b will be replaced with 3d and c i want to replace c with d square so here i'll write d square bracket over and now let's run so here you can see this is my solution 46 d square plus 5d so what is happening b is replaced with 3d and c is replaced with d square so in substitute you can use variable or combination of variable to replace with now here i can directly uh, use uh, instead of b i want to replace 5 right and control enter so it will replace 5 with b sorry i have written d so instead of d it's 5 so 5 into 5 it's 25 right
So here I am replacing B, C and D with 5, 4 and 5 by 6. And this is the result of my substitution. So here in this video we have learned two important things. The first thing is symbolic representation with symbolic solution and then symbolic representation with symbolic substitution. There is much more thing that you can do with MATLAB. You can solve varieties of equation with MATLAB and for that you must refer this playlist MATLAB tutorials. So until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye.